buddy. It's just me looking a little tired. I might be a little tired. I stayed up too late and then uh, slept in a chair <laughs> with the kids and like a, you know, an oversized stuffed chair thing. And then we got up at 5 a.m. because that's what you do on a snowy day because the energy's flowing like crazy in these kids. We haven't combed our hair yet, but we're dressed. Anyway, I got a shower, thankfully, because the, um, don't knock it over, because the um, outside faucet, okay, not right now, the outside faucet in the bathroom that I use, or I mean the faucet, the sink, is frozen, it's on an outside wall. I didn't think to leave it running, because everything else is on an inside wall. Anyway, so the sink doesn't work, but the shower did, and I was thankful for that. Got a nice shower, got my hair done, and I have, like, saturated this face so that maybe I can take advantage of a snow day. Say hi. Hi. And uh, maybe I'll have less wrinkles tomorrow. What do you think? Doubtful. Anyway, at least less dry skin. So then, uh, on top of all of that, I'm going to put you down, baby. Okay, can you move these? Thank you. Y'all can play in the other room. On top of that, I decided to let um, one of my three dogs sleep with Giovanni because, you know, they wanted the dog in the bed. And he always slept with us before, before kids. Oxford and Berkeley always slept in bed with us. Never a problem once. Well, I'm feeding them table food, and I shouldn't do that. Honey, this is going to fall. Be careful. Be careful. I'm feeding them table food, and because I'm doing that, guess what happens to their tummies? So I had a mess to clean up this morning, but Giovanni was still sleeping. So I told the girls, don't go in there. It's 5 in the morning. Don't go in there. Go use the other bathroom. You can use the other bathroom. But don't go in that one because I don't want to wake Giovanni up. Guess what? They went in there and stepped in it. Stepped in it. Walked it all over. Can someone let the dogs out? I don't want the dogs out because they'll poo poo in the house again. Put them back, please. Let them back in their kennel. So, okay, well, I've got that food. Then I, I don't want them out running around the house, please. So we're going to see the dogs running through here and kids chasing them, I'm sure. Um, so anyway, then, okay, so now I have poo-poo mess all over a Jack and Jill bath and a bedroom and into a hallway. And then Amalia is, like, dying because she went to the wrong bathroom and saw the poop. She was the first one to see it. And so she comes running through. And I can't wait. I can't wait. She goes running in my bathroom. And guess what she does? She pees herself. All, all over that bathroom and the floor, blood, you know, the whole night long, she held it. Congratulations, she did a good job. And then there was a flood in the other bathroom. So we have two bathrooms upstairs. Both bathrooms were now disgusting. And so I just said, I'm going to drink my coffee and worry about it later. Because it's Sunday morning. Typically, we're off and running to church, but because of the snowy weather and the cold, more so because of the cold here, it's like zero degrees. And I just thought, you know, I take the kids um, across town to church, and I thought in the off chance that something were to happen, and I got stranded for whatever reason, I don't want to be stranded in zero degree weather myself, and especially not with three kids. So we stay home, and um, and and I have since cleaned all the bathrooms. We're clean again, but now the dogs are running around the house again. So I guess I, I better go put dogs up before we got poo. I'm just going to mop the, the downstairs anyway. So um, I'm going to put the dogs up and get busy mopping. Thank you. I've been doing my laundry and washing the bed because the dog was in the, you know, anyway. You get the, you get the picture. Never a dull moment. Never time to sit. Although I'm sitting now, but I'm not sitting for long. I'm up. I'm going and uh, have a time to sleep. Okay, I told them, I told them they could check it out out here, but we have not combed hair. We don't have on coats. It's zero outside. So we have on boots. We're going to, we're going to see what the snow's all about today. And we're going to come right back in. Is that right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. It's going to be bright. Whoa, look how bright it is. Girls. Well, go ahead. There you go. It's cold. Hurry. Run through it if you want to run through it. There you go. And then come back in. It's cold, cold, cold. Okay, 
away just a couple more seconds and then I want you back in the house. It's very cold and you don't have on coats. Come on, head this way, girls. To me, Giovanni, you just have on your PJs, honey. You can't go out there. You can come look. Here, come touch the snow right here by the door. You can come touch that. Okay, come on. It's cold. Gianna. Gianna. Come on, baby. He wants to play. He wants to touch it. Gianna. Come on, baby. Oh. There we go. Everybody come in. <laughs> go sit on your bench. Was it cold? Yes. Oh, go, go take off your shoes. I get the door to shut now. Hang on, I gotta, I gotta sweep the snow away. Okay, we'll see. We'll see if we put a fire. Okay, we'll see. Well, I, um, I'm gonna take you back in time just a little bit to Valentine's Day. Um, 2018, so 19, 20, 20, three years ago, three short years ago, three short years ago, Giovanni needed an upsy to be able to stand up and to walk, and it gave him the idea um, of how the legs move and walk and, you know, all of those things, and um, it gave him gratification, it gave him great joy, it gave us great joy, we got to play ball with our son for the first time ever, um, I highly recommend if you have children that are not ambulatory, an UPSI is fantastic. It just, it's a little belt that you wear around your waist, a little Velcro vest, depending on their size for them, and shoes that you slip into together um, so that their feet are attached to your feet and they are attached to your belt around your waist. And it just, it works like magic. Um, I will say it made my hips a little sore <laughs> to do it for very long, but uh, it was well worth it. So um, he did not walk or talk for another year. So you'll notice in the video, he's doing some signing for more and more and more. And he does some flapping because he gets so excited. Um, and that's about the extent of what Giovanni did. That's him clapping in the background now and making some noises. He still does a lot of that. Although now he is verbal, very good at communication for the most part. <laughs> and he's very ambulatory. In fact, he's running and I couldn't be happier. So enjoy this little history, a little look back for um, three years ago, I guess. Three short years ago, you guys. Anything is possible. Pray, pray, pray. God is still in the business of work and miracles. Here comes, here comes, here comes. with these kiddos and get them ready for bed, wash some hair, take some baths, you know the thing. playing the snow for a while. They got to talk to their Gigi and Momo and cousins on the phone from Maryland today. Um, it's their Sunday, don't knock that over, Sunday FaceTime call. And uh, as you can see, we never fixed the hair today. So we're going to go up and, and clean that up. Hey, get down. Well, we'll yeah, we're going to clean up. So I 
had a great visit with um, some of my granddaughters and the baby on the way. I'm so excited. Just a few more weeks and that baby will be here. And my daughter, I, well, she, I guess she, she's the, technically, okay, can I have my card back? Don't bend it up. Can I see that, please? She would be my daughter-in-law, but I consider her my daughter. I love her. Uh, she's just amazing. And her husband is my son-in-law. And um, I just, I had the best visit with them. And he fell asleep while they were here. He got in a nice nap because we couldn't, we couldn't shut our yappers. We just kept talking. Poor guy. I thought she was going to fall asleep too, you know, at the end of your pregnancy, you're just so tired and she works full time and well, she works two different jobs, so I call it full time. So she's busy and she's running the 14 year old McKinley, she's running McKinley around to her volleyball games and her basketball games and her cheerleading tryouts in school and all of the things, you know, plus, plus has a three year old. so. It's just that she's got a lot on her plate, and I, I admire her greatly and love her tremendously. And it was such a nice visit, and they brought me Valentine's gift, and the kids too. Look at this. Look at, she did not forget me on Valentine's Day. I just love her. Thank you, Portia, for always loving me. Always loving me. Look at that. This card is as big as the kids are. Isn't that cool? And they, they wrote some really nice things inside. And, uh, oh, oh, I love it. I just love it. So, anyway, it was a great afternoon. And, um, on their, the, you know, on their way here, they, they text and said, are you going to be there? Well, yeah, I'm going to be here. So, I thought, oh, i got to run out to the car because I had their uh, Valentine bag out there for the girls. And, uh, so it snowed, remember? So, I go out there in my slippers. Yeah, they, oh, let me show you my slippers. See, yeah, it has a rubber sole. It has a rubber sole. Little slipper. So, but I didn't realize how deep the snow was, so I got really wet anyway. And then uh, I have a tall van. You know, you can stand up inside my van. It's really tall. So I slide open the door. I get in, get the bag, and I'm in a hurry. And I jump out, and I'm cold, and I hate the cold. Remember? Turn right. that sliding door shut, and I turn around, and as I do, the snow from the top of the van comes crashing down. Look, right straight down. Back. And the first thing I did was go, it was so cold. And guess where the snow went? Straight down the of my pants. That's a bit shocking for an old hag like me. Where's that dirty cowgirl coffee when you need it? So cold. So Giovanni's wound up, the girls are wound up. Ooh. We need um, some outdoor play. Uh, going out in the snow for a little bit is not enough. We gotta have some more play time. So I don't know. Might, might have to come up with something creative tomorrow. Um, but I really want to stay in. It's supposed to be horribly cold again. Uh, it's President's Day. I, I'm sure more than more than uh, a few things will be closed. I don't know. I don't know how that works. So um, and we're expecting a birthday present for the girls from their GG tomorrow too. So we've got we've got fun days planned um, ahead. Uh, as we enter this next week of February, the girls have a birthday celebration coming up, and uh, it, we just got a lot of good fun stuff coming. So anyway, we're excited, and we're going to go upstairs and get cleaned up because Giovanni never even got out of his pajamas today. Huh, buddy? You want to say hi? Here. Let's say hi. Oh, there he is. He's getting so big. Say hi. Can you say hi? Where's Giovanni? Where's Giovanni? There he is. Where's Giovanni? Ah. Hey, look up here. What's that? Susan and Nico. Where's my boy? Yeah. All right. Come here, Mel. You want to say hi? All right. Here's my stinky girl. Oh. And Gianna ran around the corner. Yeah. So, anyway. Where's she? She's coming up. She's not coming up. I don't know what's up there. Anyway, you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Yes. Oh, here comes she on a Sunday night. And um, oh. say hi. hi. And we will see all of you on the next video. Bye, Grandma.